Uh, okay, um, you're welcome to the part four of chapter two environmental management where we are looking at energy and the environment so in this part four we're going to be looking at the conservation of energy and the aspect the major objective is the strategies for the efficient management of energy resources so let's look at some of those strategies that enable the efficient management of energy resources now the first strategy is reducing consumption reducing consumption and uh, below are the ways in which we can reduce the consumption of energy one we can reduce the consumption of energy by uh, turning off electrical devices so electrical devices must be turned off when not in use devices can be left in standby mode and can be assessed rapidly when you want to use it so when it's at a standby mode uh, the rate of energy consumption is reduced now we should use more energy efficient devices so devices that do not consume much energy like um, um, how like, like electric bulbs the energy saver bulbs they don't consume as much energy so should be using energy efficient devices now developing alternative fuels developing alternative fuels also help in uh, reduction of energy especially for vehicles and further development in engine technology so instead of using um, PMS petroleum cars you can actually use solar vehicles and uh, electric vehicles which are alternative forms now scrappage scheme where you remove inefficient machine from use so machines that are inefficient and um, use high amount of energy should be removed and be replaced with electrical appliances or vehicles now energy from waste is the second form so we've looked at one which is reduction in consumption now we can look at energy from waste so reusing existing material existing materials to extract energy from them before they are disposed like you can extract fuel from plastic waste so things like plastic waste things like plastic waste you can you can recycle and make fuel from it so these are uh, ways of um, reusing so reusing existing material to extract uh, energy from them before they are disposed you can also we have an anaerobic digester that uh, have to do with breaking down of organic matter waste food and vegetation using bacteria so when you break um, this organic matter using bacteria it usually release methane gas usually release methane gas and uh, this methane gas can be used instead of um, for cooking now this process take place in a sealed container that's the process of aerobic digester please takes place in a sealed container and releases methane which is a flammable gas that can be used for heating process or purposes now the composted waste can be used as organic matter to improve soil structure so uh, the compost waste from this same process can be used as organic matter to improve soil structure so household rubbish can be incinerated and burnt 
so you can burn them household rubbish to produce heat now this heat can be used to heat water and which will now produce steam so the steam can now be used The steam can now be used for to rotate the turbine and the generator will now help to convert the mechanical energy from the turbine to electrical energy so you can generate electricity also from household rubbish and dump. so uh, next we look at education um, people should be taught on the benefit of technology uh, we should promote new ways of thinking on how to conserve energy. The message must be that a significant saving in energy bills can be made over the long term, reducing energy use. An energy efficient rating must be provided for new products to compare with the older ones. So uh, every new product that is being made should have an energy consumption efficiency rate so which will help us to compare with what is now in existence for us to now choose which of the energy um, device or appliance we should make use of now next Next, um, laws passed by the government to make changes rapidly. Laws passed by the government to make changes rapidly. So, stricter building regulations such as new constructions must be more energy efficient, preventing the sales of inefficient types of electrical devices incentives to encourage the purchase of more efficient technologies replacing older and inefficient electrical devices and scrapping older inefficient cars that emit more pollutants so this type of laws can be passed by the government so next we we'll look at um, the type of energy source so exploiting other energy resources also one of these methods so um, how to exploit another energy resource help now the type of energy source used depend on social environmental and economic factors know that and so as a result uh, the current solution is to use a renewable resource as a primary energy source when possible and have a fussy fuel power station available as a backup in case if there's an issue with uh, the renewable source so renewable source such as solar such as wind such as um, hydroelectric powers HEPs so um, you should have this in place but also it is advisable you have um, fussy fuels and possibly um, if you have re if you have um, radioactive um, energy such as re uranium available so all this should be as a backup because they have adverse effect on the environment. Now, this is a reliable source for industries and household and reduces the amount of fussy fuel use if you use renewable energy. Now, I think um, we also have lastly, transport policies also affect energy consumption and if we have efficient transport policies, this can also help to reduce the consumption of energy. Now, uh, things like regulation regarding the quality of exhaust gases from vehicles check on the fuel efficiency of the vehicle restriction on where vehicles may go to reduce the amount of vehicles and eventually will reduce the amount of uh, fuel fuel consumption they should also include taxation on fuels now short charges for traveling to certain places at peak times improving public transport so it is easier and cheaper than using cars um, this is a typical example of uh, nigeria where almost everybody have their personal cars uh, once their social status has improved 
Um, the major reason is because the public transport system is really, really pathetic. So if the public transport system is good, obviously you expect that uh, the number of people with um, personal cars will reduce. Now, improving routes for cyclists and pedestrians, encouraging car sharing between families. Now, restricting when cars can be used odd even rule such as the one in Delhi uh, providing incentives to buy more fuel efficient vehicles and for vehicles using cleaner technology so lastly um, on this chapter 4 we are going to be looking at development of new resources and here we'll be looking at franking so please take um, notes of this because I think I've seen it in a particular past question uh, and it's an area where a student tend to to just forget I don't know why they don't really take it that um, seriously because once they feel they can remember other forms of uh, how to manage energy resource they just tend to overlook the Franklin method um, franking sorry now, so development of new resources. Franking is a technique used to enable the extraction of natural gas or oil from shale and other form of tight rocks. So uh, it's a method used to extract for the extraction of natural gas or oil from shale and other forms of tight rocks. And in other words, they are known as impermeable rock formation. Impermeable rocks, remember, are rocks that are not porous, so they don't allow water to pass through them. Also, they don't allow liquid substances such as oil and gas to pass through them. That lock in oil and gas and make fussy fuel production quite difficult. So, how is franking done? It's, it's quite, you just need to understand the individual step if you ask, and also the advantage and disadvantage of this process. So first, you find that a large quantities of water, chemical, and sand, large quantities of water, chemical, and sand are blasted into these formations at pressure high enough to crack the rock. So um, this water, chemicals, and sand are blasted in high pressure to the areas that uh, have this impermeable rock, such as shale, and what it does is it helps to crack the rock, allowing the one's trap gas, so the trap gas and oil will not be able to flow to the surface. So I have, um, this is what is done here. You have the rock formation, the shale, uh, that has a, a composition of inside the shale, rocks, that is impermeable. You now have, there are, natural gas uh, inside so the first step is you, you see the truck and uh, tankers deliver water to the well site in preparation for mixing with the necessary chemicals and sand particles now once that is done an injector plant mixes the chemical sand and water then pump the solution at high pressure down the well to create fractures in the shale rock seam. So uh, once it makes it, the injector plant, it now pumps it down. And this high pressure of chemical, sand, and water will now create a crack in the shale formation to have access to the oil. Now, shale gas collects at the wellhead pipe for processing and cleaning before use by industries and homes. So um, some of the water contents back are reclaimed. So reclaimed water stored in tanks and transported to treatment plants for it to be um, purified and used over again. Now, the purpose of these three components, water, is easy to handle that's in high pressure and chemicals stop the blockage of the pipe um, because of the sand then sand keep the cracks in the rock uh, open for 
the gas and oil to flow to the surface. Now, advantages and disadvantage of this franking method. Advantage, it has access to more oil and gas. So, the access to more oil and gas. Less pollution than burning of coal. The need to import reduces. So, this is one major method that is now being widely used in the U.S. So the need to import we also reduce and uh, provide many jobs for the locals who work in the mining site or exploration site. Disadvantage, risks of toxins entering the water table. Now there is chemicals are toxic and may affect the local residents. Uses a lot of water and may cause water scarcity. Noise pollution from the machines using the process um, natural areas are quite damaged because when you have to clear the vegetation to start uh, the exploration process and may cause additional earth tremor because you send um, these chemicals at high pressure into the earth cross now that's it but for what we'll be looking at next is we'll look at oil pollution and how it helps